Uh, good morning, everyone. Today, I want to speak about an issue that affects every Guyanese, regardless of gender, race, polit political affiliation, social status, and that is our healthcare system. And I just want to outline Change Guyana's vision for a better healthcare system in Guyana. It's widely known that those who can afford it go outside of Guyana for medical attention. And this is so because we have a failing medical care system, as is evidenced by our past presidents, our current president, members of the government, ministers, senior officials. Sorry. Yeah. Guyana is not a place to be in when you are truly ill. Imagine the people, imagine the government of Guyana and those in senior positions have access to the best medical facilities here. And despite that access, they reject it. What does that say to the common man? The average person doesn't have the same access to the best. She has access to the mediocre or the barely adequate. Ob and obviously, your life is your most valuable asset. This is not acceptable, fellow Guyanese. Why must we fly out of Guyana for treatment for complicated or even quasi-complicated issues or for treatment? What are we saying to our tourists and to our investors? Don't get sick here. It is time for us to have our own well-structured healthcare system. Proper medical attention and facilities are a simple need. And as a nation, we should be able to provide that to our citizens. And this leads me to the first area that I'd like to address, and that is providing specialized care and attractive salary packages for medical personnel. Many qualified doctors and nurses have sprung from this land, and I use that term with a double meaning intended. They were born here, raised here, educated in our system, extremely adept at their craft, but they had to leave for better opportunities. It made no financial sense to stay here. As part of our promise to you, Change Guyana will utilize our public funds to offer attractive, livable salaries to our nurses, doctors, technicians, and other persons in the medical field. I know you're going to ask me where all, where all of this money will come from. My sisters and brothers, the money has always been here, but it has been mismanaged and misappropriated. We will ensure that our doctors and nurses receive specialty training for their respective fields so that quality care can be provided right here at an affordable cost. By the same token, a tougher stance will be taken on medical malpractice. This is not a free-for-all country, and even if it has been so in the past, we cannot accept that as our future. How many times have we had to say, Oh well, this is Guyana. We will say that no more. So often you read in the newspapers about deaths in hospitals that are unaccounted for, and nothing is done about it. We will change that. Change Guyana values the life of every Guyanese. When is the last time that you saw a doctor struck off of the rules for mal malpractice? Probably never. Citable cases that warrant investigation will be attended to by an impartial body. That's our promise to you. Once strong measures are put in place, you will see how our healthcare system will exponentially flourish. Change Guyana will have, an in, will have independent audits conducted to ensure that the health, healthcare system is functioning effectively. Another area that we will address is the procurement of pharmaceuticals and medical supplies. Now that's a very big issue, and it, I'm sure it bothers all of you here. A big problem that faces our healthcare system is the unavailability of much needed medications and medical supplies. How many of you can relate to being ill and going to a, a hospital only to, only to be told that some medications are not available or that they don't have certain medical su supplies there and that you should return or get it elsewhere? This is unacceptable. 
To compound the problem, there are also issues with inadequate equipment to serve the volume of patients, and sometimes a complete lack of equipment altogether, or non-functioning equipment. Then there's the problem of having the equipment, but not having trained persons to, to read your results. Change Guyana will ensure that resources are allocated to procure medications, supplies, and equipment in a transparent process. No cronies will get contracts. The best tender will, will, will get the contract. And of course, that is given according to the totality of circumstances, which would also include reliability. And the contracts will be split up so that no one person or entity monopolizes the supply chain. Change Guyana will ensure that there is no cloak and dagger procurement process. Time to stop the corruption. Change Guyana will promote accountability and transparency, and that's what I think everyone in this room is asking for. And as part of the procurement of supplies initiative, Change Guyana will ensure that all public hospitals or clinics have adequate medical testing facilities or close access to one. There is no room for guesswork in medicine. Guyanese have the right to quality health care. And this translates to proper diagnosis and proper treatment. Change Guyana will also seek to provide self-sufficient regional hospitals and better equipment in outpatient clinics. Guyana is a big country, and its people live in all 10 regions. Yet the concentration of effort and the best medical institutions are located in Georgetown. This means that outlying areas and rural areas are left, with, left to suffer. The serious cases are always brought to Georgetown, and by the time someone arrives, their condition could have worsened or they could have died on their way in transit. Or in some cases, people weren't even stable enough to travel and they die. People shouldn't have to die in transit. Regional hospitals need to be self-sufficient with the same equipment and quality trained personnel. Change Guyana will put an end to this. And we recognize that all Guyanese are equally entitled to a well-functioning healthcare system. And Change Guyana will properly manage our resources and ensure that our tax money is put to use to fix this broken medical system. Our patient clinics will also be provided with the requisite, provided, sorry, with the requisite resources to enable proper distribution of medication and medical treatment. Change Guyana knows that the most important resource is its people, is the people of Guyana. By equipping these regional hospitals and outpatient clinics, there will be wider access to care for all, especially those with disabilities who would not have to travel long and far to get the attention they need. What we want is to replicate on scale a well-functioning hospital based on population size for every region. And in some regions, there will, there will be more than one depending on the population requirements. And this takes me now to another very touchy issue, and that is NIS. I'm, not, I'm, I'm sure those of you who have had to apply for NIS benefits or to be in, reimbursed by N, NIS know what a pain the process is. I have heard of stories of people being pushed around and the ordeal being so traumatic that they abandoned their effort altogether. Those who eventually received some compensation or benefit complained about how unrealistically small it was compared to the actual cost of treatment. Change Guyana plans to revamp and restructure the NIS system to ensure that coverage matches the need of the citizens. Change Guyana will set up a system where contributions can be scaled and medical insurance provided accordingly, ranging from partial coverage to full coverage. Persons with disabilities will not be neglected by a Change Guyana government. These are persons like Shivdas Shah, who wrote about her disability and her attempt at receiving government 
support since 2013, but to no avail. Shiv Dashar, I hear you. Under a change Guyana government, you will be taken care of because resources will be plugged in to all the areas that are weak in our healthcare system and for social services. We owe our disabled people the care that they deserve. Shiv Dashar, I will personally look into your matter to see what can be done to help you. It is not fair to suffer in a country where the resources are abundant and utilized by only a few. Change Guyana will take care of the people because Change Guyana is a party for the people. Well, you, you, you would be aware that one of our big areas is to improve uh, our technical fields and that, that is to develop a patient e-registry. A key element of proper care and, well -functioning, and a well-functioning healthcare system is having a proper record system. In this digital age, there's no excuse for not having an e-database registry accessible by all public hospitals. Each patient will have his or her unique ID that can track their medical history and outline medications and procedures done. Of course, this registry will be stored and backed up in the cloud so that we don't have an issue like what's happening at the registry where it's, it's, all, it's all gone, the court's registry. <laughs> so that should there be a disastrous uh, mechanical failure or system glitch, that record will still be in place. Change Guyana wants to bring this nation to a first world, up to first world standards, and that's the first area that we would address. That's the healthcare system. And the last thing, I mean, as citizens, we can't expect our government to hold our hands along, uh, all along the way. We have to do things for ourselves, and we have to have our own initiative. And, and one of the things that we will be promoting is a change, uh, well, education for the change in lifestyle, uh, management, education, etc. cetera. Um, Change Guyana believes in having an educated population. And when you know what the facts are and that there are choices, you're likely to make better decisions. With that in mind, Change Guyana will ensure that information is disseminated across the country, in schools, on the benefits of, having, of, of healthy eating, exercise, and preventative measures. This would also include ensuring that the menus at the fast food restaurants or as you go to order something, displays the information of, of the calories contained in a particular meal. A, self, a healthy society allows for more resources to be utilized in other areas. And Change Guyana is very concerned with having a healthy Guyana. So a vote for Change Guyana is a vote for a healthier Guyana. On March 2nd, please vote for Change Guyana.